you are looking at a yellow robin's nest. Let's move away before they come back so we don't disturb them. Because I want them to get used to me being here and uh, you yeah, don't want them to see me as a threat. The unique thing about this yellow robin nest is it's November. There's five days left. They built it last week and now there's two eggs in the nest and it's extremely unusual. So I won't say rare, I'll just say it's extremely unusual. I've never seen it before in this reserve breeding so late. Now the season starts in August and they breed right through until normally they might push it to December, like finishing in December, maybe in the middle, maybe at the end, but never starting a nest. So it's something of interest to me, that is for sure. I'm going to follow this nest. So I'm going to make a diary of it and see whether it goes full term because I'm doubting it there is so many things against them at this time of year the agile antichinus joeys are very active now they're all out of their nests they're either they've got communal nests going uh, mixed with older females so that this is the height of the season for the agile where there's a lot of them around they'll get picked off as we go along with uh, birds, you know, kookaburras and things like that and uh, normal diseases and things like that sort of thin out. But at the minute, this is the wrong time to be nesting because there's so many of them out actively seeking out food, especially baby birds. Now the older females will be on to them first. They'll start checking out this nest. So yes, I'm going to uh, follow them, see how they go. I'll put a trail camera out uh, once we get close to the eggs about to hatch so we can see if any little sneaky devils come in and wreck it. Just so, so get the evidence to show who's destroyed this nest or um, the agile come in and uh, taken the chicks. Uh, the other enemy that they have to watch out for is the honey eaters. The white-eared honey eater and the yellow-faced honey eater are the biggest culprits for destroying nests. It's, their breeding season has come and gone two months ago. But they uh, just love to cause havoc. It's um, just a bit of fun for them to keep other birds out of the area that they're uh, getting their food from. And you see the white flowers and that behind me. It's the uh, Christmas bush which comes out at Christmas, of course, uh, f in full bloom at the minute. Plenty of insects around. So this nest, yes, um, <laughs> if you put money on that it won't go full term, you're probably likely to uh, win up big. All right, so I'm going to finish up now. I'm going to come back every couple of days or whenever I'm... Uh, feel it's necessary come and check them out and see what's happening with it and uh, it'd be really interesting I'd love it to go full term it is in full sunlight in the first thing in the mornings here it gets beautiful sunlight shining right through onto the nest I can get some awesome photographs if it goes full term with the chicks getting fed by mum Oh, it is so typical of birds nesting in this reserve. They very rarely go right through to the end where the chicks leave the nest. There's always some disaster happening. For the big majority of them, that's for sure. So uh, something's taken the eggs. Uh, only last, the nest only lasted three weeks. It's sort of guess that that would happen though um, but ah oh, it always happens to the nest oh. <coughs> no you got taken out 
by three um, white nap tiny eaters. Yes, that nest in just a perfect spot. It's chest height. You can see it in the nest. So photograph it or film it. Beautiful sunlight in the morning. It's just hitting it now. It's um, eight, eight o'clock, I think now. Just starting to hit it. So for another forty odd minutes, it's going to be bathed in beautiful sunlight. So no need for a flash when I'm photographing. You know, it just would have been awesome, but it always happens. It always happens with these ones. The culprit? I'm not sure because there's no uh, the sign of the shell or anything so the eggs have been taken whole. I'm going to find out whether actually ringtail possums because there's a couple of um, pairs close by here uh, and there's actually one of their nests just about uh, five meters away <laughs> over there. Uh, whether they eat birds eggs it's quite likely that they might do that and the nest is totally undisturbed no shell on the ground the eggs are too big for the agile I, I'm, I'm pretty sure too big for them to uh, carry off uh, so it could be uh, carillon that we have in the reserve and Maybe even a kookaburra. Maybe. Yeah, the branch isn't... The, the frong that it's on, and the fern frong, isn't all that strong. So anything with a little bit of weight would have you know, brought the nest down a bit, I think. So I'm unsure. Three days ago, I was on my way out here with a trial camera. So that's in the afternoon because in the morning I saw that the eggs were still there and I thought oh, I better set up a camera before anything happens so I can see who the culprit is if it if the nest doesn't make it uh, yeah so I got sidetracked on the way here I dropped into nesting box number two where I had the agile anti-kindness females um, nesting there and sure enough yeah there was definitely signs that the agile were back in there so I thought I'll just leave it here for a couple of days and see what's really going on in there at the expense of this one. <laughs> it's typical. I have done this before where I've just delayed um, because of rain or something like that. I've sort of thought, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, do it tomorrow. And nests have um, been raided <laughs> or, you know, been, or been destroyed or whatever. And I'm always wanting to know who's the culprit? Who's the one that does it the most? Um, I've seen it a couple of times visually, you know, what, what's happened, but never capturing it on film to see the other ones that uh, I don't see. There you go, alright. So this, this nest's finished, the, this video is finished, I don't have a lot more to say. Uh, so as I said last week, in last week's video, I'm going on an adventure to Wilson's Promontory. When you get this video, it'll be tomorrow. So that it'll be the Monday, 19th. I'm off on my adventure and I'm taking you with me. Can't use drones down there, unfortunately, because um, I still haven't sold mine. I thought, oh, I'll take it out for one more, one more go before I, <laughs> before I get sold. Um, and I checked online and uh, no, national parks, you have to have a permit, $200 for a permit. And you also have to have a pilot's license as well which i don't have because uh, in australia at the minute if you're a recreational flyer you stick to all the rules you don't need the license we'll make it a fantastic adventure anyway without a drone lots of gear to, to test out like i said in the last video as well um I, you know i've only used my tent once out here in the reserve. I stayed out here one night to see whether I could um, capture males mating with the Agile Antichinus. Uh, wanted to be able to film that, so I stayed out here one night and it, that's the only time I've used it. And I've had it now for two years. <laughs> um, Covert stuffed me up last year, of course, for going on hikes, but anyway, we'll be able to test that out. Test the backpack out. I, uh, that I've been using for for over a year now. I just haven't been able to go out on those uh, three to four day hikes. That's 
um, the only thing I haven't tested it out with yet. And I think it's time to finish up this video. I suppose it was slightly interesting <laughs> to see what happens in a reserve that's well, for reserves in general. Nesting birds under a lot of pressure, they don't all make it. That is for sure. It's just the natural thing that happens in our modern era. The reserve is surrounded by houses and farms. It's an island and it has to, con it's very much contained. About 40 acres, so there's not a lot of room for birds to move in and have enough territory that they go right through. All right. That's all I've got for you for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing stuff, click on my pretty little face that's down here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And if you want to have a look at all the other mad and crazy things I've been doing over the years, click on my icon right here at the end of this video. It'll take you to my channel. Oh, there's over 100 videos to look at. <laughs> Me talking about photographing, filming in a forest environment. Give you some tips there. Go on adventures take you with me oh there's all other sorts of camera related stuff so go and have a browse there'll be something you're of interest to i am sure and just remember if you don't do you don't get so get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife if you possibly can in these horrible times that we're still in the uk and other countries are still all in lockdown i know so my heart goes out to you but if you possibly can get out there and let nature calm your soul Catch you on the next one. Bye.